He scored 22 points, had 12 rebounds against the Panthers last year. All right, we're underway on a Tuesday night. College starting Cam Swartz, Michaela Dickens, Marnell Gerard, who nails the early three. Taylor Soul and Clara Ford. Programs on the up and up. ECC all freshman last year, having a good sophomore season as well. Turns it over here. Eagles looking to push. Gerard to the 10 for two more. Can't use that as an excuse. It's easy to let excuses creep in this season, but if you let the excuses creep in, they start to build on you. Right now, it's a dream start for the Eagles. Cameron Swartz from downtown. They had a little bit of miscommunication there, but let's go back to Swartz. Who again, that three-point shot, that can go away with a lack of practice time. Certainly been there so far tonight. Dejanette Harris puts Pitt on the board. Ford inside, defended well by one of the best rim protectors in the league, Rita Igbakwe. Harris pushing past Gerard. She scores two more. You allow freshmen and sophomore to play underclassmen roles and succeed that way. It's such a big factor in a rebuild. Taylor Soule, who has shown off that 17 to 18 footer this year, scores her first two. I don't think we're going to hear the shot clock buzzer very much no. today. Here's Soule ahead of everybody for two more. Off the great feed from Cam Swartz. On her second. Boston College up one, led by Taylor Soul's early six. As quickly as they are, Eagles have done a good job of it so far. 12-6 lead for Boston College. Everett again nails it. Here's Soul left alone again. Taylor Soul's feeling it early. Going to be guarded a specific way. She has to be able to go to it in those spots. And so far today, that shot has been there and she's made it. Meanwhile, Harris has improved her jump shot ability as well. Last year, she was all about getting to the rim. Soul posting up inside is going to go at the much bigger Bakwe. Soul pulling her out. Missed the jumper. There's Cam Swartz the offensive board. She's rejected. Leah Two King swatted it. It's like this becomes so important. Eagles looking to push forward to the outside. Here's Paul Mary. 4 3. Second career three pointer for Allie Paul Mary. Paul Mary in trouble. Kicks it out for Kayla Ivey. That's a nice drive by Ivy to the 10. It came up empty. Ford on the follow. No. Dickens, third try. Yes. And convert more of the second chances they create with their rebounding. Yeah, and I think when you're playing in a game where both teams play that umtepo style, if you miss even just a couple possessions here, that one's knocked down by Everett. Here's Dickens left clean off the screen. She nails it again. Getting any basketball experience, let alone getting it here. Boston College up by eight. Soul with a good feed inside. Oh, that's the second block today from King. He's got the Band-Aid over her eye. She is tough. She was a middle linebacker playing football in middle school. Another clean look for Allie Palmieri. Seen this a couple times to beat Notre Dame <laughs> over the last few years. See if they're having anything else. Ivy gets it into a wide open. Swartz at the buzzer for two. Particularly for the Eagles, a specific team member alum to to play for these games certainly adds that extra dimension to what's just a great cause all around women's basketball that this game gets played every single year more practice in the gym that shooting will start to come down low inside an easy two for destiny struther and joanna burnaby mcnamee takes time out Taylor soul is trying to draw contact but was well defended that was tremendous defense by tracy houston it leads to jayla everett scoring on the other end he and turned it to a two. Dickens, beautiful feed for Jalen Batts, and that ends a four-minute scoring drought. There's no doubt they've done things in the last few weeks that they could not do a year ago. That is real progress, even if it hasn't shown up in the Ws yet. This was a rescheduled game, and these two teams could not play their scheduled game earlier this year. And It's good whenever flexibility can come into the schedule and get in as many games as possible. Clean look, Struthers got it. Abby Green, one of the rare seniors on this Pittsburgh team. They got three of them. Struther in the corner, hits the three. Dickens driving in, here's Soul. Panthers sending two jerseys at her every time. Frees up, bats for a clean two. Bats driving down the lane, gets beneath the 10 and sticks home a tough two. King rolling at Dickens. Ford came over to help. Offensive board, and Azaza sticks it back in. 
Everett's left clean. Didn't get the roll. Wide open offensive board and stick back for Amber Brown. Bakwe was limited by foul trouble and other issues in the first half. Green missed the three. Another offensive rebound. Liana King sticks it home. Gerard trying to enter, turned it over again. But God, here comes Dacianet Harris at Seoul and scores right through her for two more. Mission that we're at that point and that's a win and then it's okay, no more moral victories. Let's go and now we gotta win these games. Seoul charging at Bakwe and one! Well, sometimes you need a run stopper in Seoul, who again, just moments ago, tried a similar move. And they can take advantage of that. It's a big difference from last year. Harris driving hard, scores around Gerard. And she's always trying to create contact, always getting in the paint. And there, Gabby Green draws the charge. This is points to our score sheet, and that's how quick that steal came. Here's Seoul attacking Glass and scoring on the other end. And you need that kind of play, and especially in a game like this where both teams like to run. King lost his shoe on the other end, so it's a five on four, and the Eagles take advantage. Cameron Swartz scores and one. How well this pit team battles even when they get behind in games like they did early today. Soul from distance again. And again, a shot that's new in her repertoire this year. Didn't see it much last season. Another good feed down low. King sets up Azaza for two. Los Collins led by Taylor Soul. She scored seven points in the quarter. Farah Ford is on the board today. Beautifully found off the inbound by Michaela Dickens. We had to step into the biggest step up in role compared to last year on anyone on this Boston College team. And she's done some really nice things. In the corner, Struther. It's Jayla Everett again, attacking the rim. She has two more. He said, a little out of control right now. Houston puts Pitt ahead for the first time. Offensive rebounds, 18 points in the paint. I mean, this has been their bread and butter quarter so far, and it's gotten them to the lead. Jayla Everett with a tough spinorama for two. You could even go farther back. She only had two points in the second quarter, so they've done it without her. Oh, how do you lose Taylor? So Boston College's top scorer had no one within 10 feet of her off the pick and roll. Trying to reestablish some things here with 30 left. Bats at the stripe, didn't get it to go. Soul keeps it alive and finds Dickens. What a play! The issue for Boston College and ACC play defense, particularly in the paint. And Pittsburgh scored 18 points in the paint in that quarter. Here's two more off the feed from Everett. King is wide open inside. Swartz on a back cut and turnabout is fair play. Gerard finds Swartz for two. He's attacking Swartz, put her shoulder into her. No offensive board to King. Everett's wide open. It's good! It's it back, still 15 on the timer. Attacks Gerard. Oh, look at that move. Jayla Everett. That was flashy. The Boston College continuing to be a bit cold in the second half. Eagles have missed their last five. In deep, Amber Brown for two. Fourth quarter. Everett is clean again. And that frustration off the turnovers can sometimes mount, and then all of a sudden you start missing shots. Soul gets inside, past Brown for two. Game's kind of going small, and I think Pitts realized the pace this game was being played didn't really necessarily suit Igbakwe. It is suited Amber Brown, who scored 10 points today. This college running short on time here. Need to take advantage of these possessions now. Soul free inside. That was a beauty from Bats. Everett attacking the paint, kicks into the corner. This is Harris driving in. She got it. Comes through in a big spot to reestablish a seven-point pit lead. Oh, the big three, just what BC needed. Make that kind of shot, and it's so big in that spot. Now it's Everett back inside. Beautiful feed. King missed it. Follows her own miss and scores. Everett drives it, Soul had it and lost it. Comes out to Harris with 10. It didn't go. Gerard finds the rebound. Eagles going quick here. Up ahead for Soul, and she's got it for two more.
Harris and Everett. You're going to get 30 or so combined points from them. So it's it's what they can get from the rest of that group that's going to determine things for Pitt here. Oh, big pressure from Boston College. Forces the jump ball and the turnover. Don't want to take too much time on this trip. Dickens is free and it's a one-point game. Two big threes from Michaela Dickens in the last 30 seconds. Jeanette Harris into the paint, drives at Swartz, didn't go, need the rebound, and King finds it. Here's a three, Struther took it, comes up empty, jump ball, possession arrow to Pittsburgh. Again, second half, offensive rebounding's been huge for Pittsburgh. Offensive rebounding, points in the paint, big keys for the Panthers. Only a two-point game. Eagles take time. Again, two to tie it, three to win it. Trying to get it into Soul. It's deflected and turned over. Struther takes it away. She's headed to the stripe. And it's only taken four free throws all year. She makes this one. It's a three-point game. This is the second. Eagles need a three. Here's Dickens. Dickens puts it up, and off the mark, Pittsburgh hangs on to it on the road.